This is speculation. Vince Tyre providing answers today about what led to his sudden resignation from U of L and his relationship with the outgoing president, Dr. Neely Bendapudi. Our sports director, Ken Spencer, has more on what he had to say today. He was sat down with you today, Kent, and answered these questions. Yeah, Vince Tyre said he actually started about thinking about what was next for him over this past summer, but he did say if he knew Dr. Neely Bendapudi was leaving for Penn State, it would have impacted his decision. So what happened with Florida State? Tyre says this was the first school he ever listened to, but he couldn't have any contact with them after he told Dr. Bendapudi of interest on Friday, December 3rd, to when the Board of Trustees approved changes to his contract, allowing him to talk to another ACC school the following Wednesday. That's when he decided it just wasn't the right move. Tyre says during that period, he never heard from Benapudi or any of the members on the board of trustees. Tyree Tyre says Benapudi's move to Penn State caught him by surprise, but at that point, his mind was already made up. You, you're going to take some level of criticism and some scrutiny. Was it all Neely or try to point to one thing? It wasn't all Neely. Uh, Neely and I enjoyed some, some good times as well, um, but I, I think that um, I was thinking about what I thought was best um, for me and my family at that time and where I was. Look, I've got respect for a lot of things she did and, and other things you're in leadership. Sometimes in management, you're going to agree to disagree on things. And I think that uh, certainly we didn't agree on everything. Um, but, you know, it, it is where it is at this point. A couple other topics. Never was going to fire Scott Satterfield. Never talked to Jeff Brom about the position. Says the biggest hurdle for athletics at Louisville, the NCAA hurdle with men's basketball. What's next for him? He doesn't quite know. All right. Our coverage from Western Kentucky continuing with our team of reporters there and more from Bardstown coming up on the night team.